okay, so now everything is starting to make a little bit more sense to me. Um, you know, I, I, I studied the tax code back in the day. And the more I revisit it, I start to understand how everything is very simple. And we tend to make it a lot difficult, a lot more difficult than it is. Okay, so for some of the people who've attended the law class, uh, we did talk about uh, gifts, and I did tie together some of my uh, <laughs> some of my videos. Uh, not all of them, uh, but some of my videos are kind of like pieces to the pu the puzzle because I really make the videos so I can remember some of this stuff. Because believe me, I forget more stuff, you know, more remedies than I remember. Um, but when you go into Title 26, uh, you understand what a skip person is. So uh, we'll get to that. But what a skip person and a non-skip person is is a skip to a skip person is basically uh, basically it says a skip person is a skip person. Okay, if you read this statute, uh, if you understand what I was talking about by saying things were gifts, you'll understand even more uh, what I'm talking about. So it says, for the purpose of this chapter, the term skip person means, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't define it. Uh, so a skip person means a natural person, okay, so a natural person assigned to a generation, which is two or more generations below the generational uh, generation assignment of the transferor or a trust. If all interests and such trusts are held by a skip person. See? So if you understand what I just read right there, this is why banks, financial institutions uh, do loans. And the reason why they do loans is because the fact that you're a living, natural human being, this allows them to get your tax credits and your exclusions. So if you understand what I'm saying, you'd be like, you should be like, whoa, that's crazy. Because the fact that you're alive allows these people to use your credits because they couldn't use your credits if you were dead. So what they do is they take over your credits, then they pull your credits into a, a trust, which you don't get any benefit from uh, because you've never claimed it. Okay, so if all interests in such trust are held by a skip person, meaning a natural person, or if there is no person holding interest in the such trust, see? So what they do is they use your, your information, which gives them access to your credit. And since you have not made, made a claim, see, there's no person holding interest in the such trust because basically your property is deemed as abandoned property. So, and at the time, after such transfer may a distribution including distributions on termination be made from such trust to a non-skip person okay for the purpose of this term non-skip person means any person who is not a skip person meaning corporations uh people who are not in your family uh so we'll go under the definition of a skip person so a skip person refers to a family member that someone gifts or bequests assets to that is two or more generations younger than them. This term arose when prior to the generation skipping transfer tax, wealthy individuals passed their wealth to their grandchildren and other family members who were not exposed to the estate tax. This generation skipping tax, a transfer tax destroyed this loophole in 1976. So how do you get the, so what they're doing is they're stealing your exclusions, you know, in your exemptions, because corporations need your credits to run themselves, to fund themselves. So we'll get into it. So how's the generation uh, skipping transfer tax exemption works? Okay, the generation skipping tax, GT, GST, also sometimes called the generation skipping transfer tax can be occurred when grandfather grandparents directly transfer money or property to their grandchildren with, without first leaving it to their children. So this tax actually applies at transfer. So when you transfer your car loan, when you transfer your home loan, this applies right at that moment. 
So as soon as you're done, you know, filling out your paperwork, as soon as the ink dries, they already assess the tax on your property. That's why people lose it. You're not actually losing car loans. You're not losing any of this, uh, you know, from uh, repossessions or uh, um, foreclosures. Okay. The generation skipping tra transfer or GST doesn't just apply to grandchildren. It also addresses gifts or transfers made to other family members and unrelated individuals who are at least 37 and a half years young, younger than the donor. All such beneficiaries are referred to as skip persons. Okay, so a skip person is just a natural human being or a trust or made in the benefit of a natural human being. Okay, so why skip? The, gener the child's generation is skipped to avoid inheritance being subject to the estate tax twice once it moves from the grandparents to the children and then from those children to their children, okay? So you're supposed to settle your taxes immediately. So once you receive your car, your house, uh, your credit, you're supposed to settle the taxes right then. That's why they keep sending you a bill, okay? The Internal Revenue Code, the IRC, has therefore applied an additional tax to these inheritances since 1976, which was repealed in 1986, and only applies to generation skipping transfers made on or after that date. Older irrevocable trusts are grandfathered in and are exempt from the GST to compensate for estates that might otherwise have been avoided. Now, you might understand, well, rich people get rich. They always try to cut, uh, they try to shut the door on poor people so, they, so you know, they can stay rich, okay? So trust can be skip persons too. The GST can be levied upon both direct transfers, see? So when you get a car loan, what you do is you transfer your interest to the bank, uh, to these beneficiaries and gifts made to them through trust. Trusts are considered to be skip persons under some circumstances. All beneficiaries of the trust are skip persons to the donor or no dispositions of income or property are to be made to anyone who is not a skip person. So when you make your car payments, your home payments, you are actually not paying the bank. What you're doing is they're putting your money into a trust. And are you a party to that trust? The answer is hell no. So if you if you attended the call, you you understand what I was talking about, why you must make a claim, because it stops your payables and receivables from going into a, uh, a servicing agreement. OK, these individuals have beneficial interest in a trust, which means they have present and immediate rights to the trust principal and interest earned. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. OK. So it says these individual. OK, let me go. Let me go back. <laughs> and read it again. Trusts are also considered to be skip persons under some circumstances. All beneficiaries of the trust are skip persons to the donor or no dispositions of income or property are to be made by anyone to make, I'm sorry, to be made to anyone who is not a skip person. Okay. These interests, these individuals must have beneficial interest in the trust which means they have present and immediate rights to the trust principal and interest earned. So you already, meaning that since you're alive, if you have a team, if you have a Sprint bill, if you have a T-Mobile bill, if you have a Verizon bill, if you have a car with Ford Motor Corporation, that means you are an unnamed beneficiary into their trust. So if you understand this, you can start putting your stuff together and um, you can start putting your stuff together where, you know, you can start uh, using this information to write letters to these corporations and start getting your money back. An exception, an exception for a certain descendant, uh, descendants, I'm sorry. Oh, descendants. Yeah, I was right. IRC section 2651E makes an exception for grandchildren whose parents has have preceded them. In those cases, the children effectively move up into their parents' places in line. So 
the GST no longer applies to them. The gift then isn't skipping a generation, okay? The generation skipping tax exemption. An exemption is an amount that can be directly transferred to the grandchildren or into a generation skipping trust for the benefit of the grandchildren without incurring a federal GST. Now, if you understand <laughs> what these corporations do is they act as if you are a minor over your estate and then they set up a trust to which they benefit from, which you don't. Now, don't sit here and say, oh, these people are evil, they're evil. No, no, no. Don't be mad, do not be a victim. Take control, okay? So the GST shares the same life exemption as the federal state and gift taxes. And that's pretty significant as of 2022, see? So that means some of y'all need to hurry up and start making some claims. Under the provision of the Tax Relief Unemployment Insurance Reauthorization and Job Creation Act of 2010, see, see how these rich people, they put this in your face, they trick you by the pandemic, and now you don't understand that this is the biggest wealth trend. I said this in, I think I said this in 2017, that the biggest wealth transfer in history is going to happen. The federal GST was repealed for most of that year, and it was re reinstated on December 17th, 2010. However, the exemption was $5 million, meaning you have a $5 million exemption, meaning you don't have to pay taxes, meaning you have access to $5 million in tax credits. At the time, any gifts made over that amount were subject to a 35% tax rate. The federal GST exemption increased to 5.12 million. Now that's not the lifetime rate. You see what I'm saying? So that's not the lifetime rate. The lifetime rate jumped up to, I think, 12 million. Okay, at the time, at the tax uh, remained steady. Uh, then came the American Taxpayer Relief Act. See, all of this stuff, these people were preparing to move their money. That's why all these CEOs got richer, why most people got poorer. OK, under the terms of the ATRA, the GST exemption uh, increased to five point two five million, but the GST tax rate jumped to 40 percent. ATRA also indexed the exemption for inflation. OK, so it has subsequently increased from year to year. The 2014 generation skipping transfer tax went up to. 5.34 million and the 20 and as of 2016 it was set at 5.45 million then in 2017 it increased to 5.49 million when the tax and jobs cut act the tcja went in effect in 2018 this legislation uh, sorry this legislation more or less doubled the exemption, meaning this is an exemption. That means that you are tax exempt up to $11.18 million. <laughs> and people, I'm poor, I don't have any money. No, you don't know where to find it. But I'm gonna teach you on this channel where to find it. Okay, the limit is adjusted with inflation, reaching 11.7 million for 2021 and 12.06 million for 2022 that allows grandparents to give a lot of give away a lot of money and property now when you know in the statute of mort main video when i said what they're trying to do to older people take them out now you know why youtube took down my video because i'm telling the truth but it might not be permanent okay the tcja and most of its terms are set to expire at the end of 2025. That means you need to make a power move and empty out your CAFRs and get your money back, okay? Unless Congress takes steps to renew it. The GST tax rate uh, remains at 40%. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all of this, but um, just so you know, I, I, things are more clear now. I'm out.